What is good friends, we are finally back with some laddering videos on my channel. I haven't done this in a long time, but I kind of felt like it. I know I've only been recording two games, but yeah, this is definitely like... I kind of need this, it's like a bit different and refreshing. So we are using a bulky offense team that many clips made, it's pretty cool with around Ben Victini. I will explain the team as we go on. Uh, if you guys want to use the team for yourself, it's going to be in the description, so check that out. He is like, he's a good builder in my opinion, and... He does have some teams that uh, I cannot share, obviously, because he uses them in tours, but I'm allowed to share this, so it's all Gucci. Now, um, pretty much Coco is... That Coco seems like a fine lead, but I have to be a bit careful that I don't let it get low because he has a Halucha, but never mind, this guy just leads with Halucha. So, this is a free T-Bolt on Volt Switch. Uh, Volt Switch, and just in case he goes Venus Sword. Pretty much, this is Shuka Tapu Coco, um, the momentum machine of the team. With HP investment to check... Um, Halucha and to check Halucha and Pinsir better, right? So the HP investment also lets you live at 120 HP. It also lets you live um, Bandit Thousand Arrows from Zygarde after Rocks, if I'm not mistaken. So we have Scarf Rocks Lando, which might seem a bit weird to you guys, but yeah, obviously um, we need Defog support for Ben Victini, the star of the show. So, um, Defog and Scissor was needed to have reliable Defog, Scarf Defog definitely would not have been reliable enough. So most of the time you're gonna be Defogging anyway, so you're not gonna get your rocks up all the time. Only when they have a Zard or something, like that's a huge threat to the team, then you need your rocks. But, I can just HPIs this boy, I don't really need my Lando for anything, so. He's outraged, yeah, so basically what I'm trying to say is, we're gonna be laddering up to the top, I've done it before and I haven't finished it because, uh, mainly because I was focusing on tournament games. Um, so we're obviously going to be facing bad opponents. I played like four or three games off screen. Just so we don't face Mono Evolution again. And at least we're not doing that, but we're still facing um, not the best opponents. So the games are obviously not going to be the, the, the best games. But that that's happens when you go on the on the low ladder. So we can go into Kelly, which is CM uh, Waterium Taunt. And I think I have to CM up versus this boy because it's a problem otherwise. It's probably max defense CM is what I would assume. Basically, um, I will show the score, my win-loss, uh, at the end of every video, so you guys can see. I'm not gonna skip any games, I'm gonna record pretty much everything. I might skip a few games if I decay or anything to get points back. I think at the moment I'm 4 3 and I'm 3 and 0 at the moment, yeah. So I only played 3 games, so this is the 4th game. Um, we can see him up again. Um, he's doing the same. Do we go to plot 6? I think we... No, I think we just hide reward vortex and blow this boy out. This should do like 70%. So the problem... Oh, that kills! Wow, I did not expect that. So he definitely did not have any spell as well. I would expect... I expect like 75. But I just... Basically the team, I want to explain it a bit. So it's Voltron into Ben Victini and into this Keldeo. This Keldeo is pretty amazing because he can taunt Toxapex, so they cannot haste or Toxic you. And you can see him up on them, they're pretty much farther. Um, if you get high on the ladder, there can be um, there can be predictions where um, sometimes they go into Coco or something on a taunt. And if you want to predict that, you can go for hard Hydro Pump or hard Vortex if you're feeling yourself. But usually... Um, on low ladder especially, you wanna play it safe, right? Which is what I'm gonna do here. I, I U-turn because it covers everything. If he switches into Blaze, I get momentum. If he stays in, I break the disguise. Now I could go Coco Volt out and back into this. I could go Lando. I think Coco and Volt out back is fine. Teal probably has an Oko since this is not max special attack and not specs or anything. And Mimikyu has decent speed yeah. Uh, he sneaks there for some reason. Yeah, you guys can tell this guy is not really predicting anything, so might as well just bullet punch. Don't really worry about anything here, since uh, we are on low ladder. Um, that's actually the only reason why I can record at the moment because I didn't sleep last night. I'm super tired, but still kind of motivated to record. And low ladder means I can still just chill around and talk about the team. Don't really have to pay attention to the game that much. But I'm still gonna try to not misplay too much. I think I should have just gone hard Victini to speed up the game. Because I don't wanna sit here for five years. Like usually um you wanna get the Victini in with either U turn, U turn or Volt Switch, right? You don't wanna go hard into it on a Venus or usually. Um you wanna be patient, keep it healthy so it can get eventually uh, potentially two kills, not only one. 
but in this scenario my opponent um, clearly cannot really like I don't have a reason to keep it healthy is what I'm trying to say because my opponent's team is already pretty low on health um, I don't need this and in case he's like sub I'm not gonna let him set up so we just sack this as that Oko's because Blaze has no defense he flames hurt for some reason I don't know what he expected I'm not gonna let him kill this now because Victini is the star of the show it's also my background pretty cool I have a background for today as we're gonna Ionex this I have the team copied into the calculator in case we're gonna have to calc so that everything goes faster and I hope we will eventually face normal teams um, basically if you guys want to show this more often if you guys want to see this more often show your support smash the like button and if I see a lot of support I'm gonna bring this to you daily um, otherwise I'm gonna bring it only like twice a week to you mm -hmm. and you also let me know if you still want to see if you prefer tournament games or this series I know some people are only sub to me because of tournament games but others also like the lives especially my man Rojo asked me to do a solo live so shoutouts to Rojo if you're watching um, this is a game where I can just leave with my land though I think yeah so Titan no I don't really know if he's the a new set that runs like SDU rest talk return or something so I'm not exactly sure I have no clue what the, what the move pull this one gets because <laughs> I usually don't face these months and I don't play NU um but you just want to go Victini and click recreate and pick one up now he has T wave this is dangerous if, he, if I get T waved here so I want to talk a bit as we if we go on about threats to the team and how the team functions. Okay, he ate that up because he's a violet. He rolls me, completely fine. Is you done here? Um, he could go Volk trying to burn me, but that's that's okay, I think. Did nothing. So he might have gone for T wave again. So we're gonna go Landris. Yep, I know how these people work, and we're just gonna U turn out. Basically, this bulky scarf Lando with with um. Enough speed to outspeed Mega Alakazam. Some bulk investment to um, check Zagat a bit better, but mainly um, Max Defense Scissor is able to check Ben Zagat and also Shuka Coco. So it's not like a big deal. There's Warrior Keldy with Taunts, just Fire versus Fatter teams. Then Avian Moong is just a special spawn, which pretty much takes every special hit in the game. We just sludge bomb this. HP Fire is gonna do nothing because we're AV calm with a lot of speed dev. Stomping Tantrum is amazing to low Heatran, um, which can be helpful for the team. Heatran is quite a threat because Kelly can only switch in once. Maybe Lando can switch in once, but nothing switches in reliable. So if you sludge bomb by HP Fire as they go Heatran, then you can then you can kill them next turn with Stomping Tantrum. Because if the attack fails, then Stomping Tantrum's power gets doubled. I'm not sure if it goes always from full. Maybe sometimes you need maybe you need rocks up to guarantee to kill Heatran. But I know it does a lot with Stomping Tantrum if the power gets doubled. Um, so Agron, if he's not mega for some reason, I could tantrum here, but he's probably gonna mega and get his rocks up. So I think uh, Kelly has the play here. And I kind of just want to fire off my Z move because earlier I lost the game because I went for Hydro Pump instead of Z Hydro Pump because I was I wanted to preserve it and that kind of cost me, yeah, it cost me the game. So it just all goes Bob. Kelly already putting in the work, kind of stealing Victini's show. And yeah, we'll go on. I'm not sh so I think I talked about most of the months already. Yeah. Okay, we can talk about threats to the team. Threats to the team are that why? Um, because you can see we have rocks on Scarflanders. That is because uh, defog Scarflander would not be reliable because we have to defog sometimes quite often for our victim to keep rocks off. Um, so that Victini can check stuff like Lele better and come in a few more times. I think Land was a pretty fine lead here. And yeah, this could be Sash. But I think U-turn is my play to um, break a potential Sash and go into Amongus, the special sponge. You can see he's taunt, he predicted me to rock. Now, I'm not sure how good this guy is, so like, I'm not gonna predict anything, I'm just gonna stomping tantrum exactly. Cause this is a ladder and he's life up, so this might do a lot. Yep. Um, I think Giga Drain plus life up might kill him. No, probably not. I'm not gonna predict on the ladder, right? She, I could make a play that. I was just gonna say, 
could have gone to Landris there because it eats any one hit and it covers the Zard and the Dragonite. But like usually I try to make mid-grounds play. Mid-ground plays that cover most options that my opponent has. But I'm that low on the ladder that I didn't even care about it. <laughs> but yeah, um, like I said, most of the time you're gonna be defaulting for Victini, so Rocks on Scarf Lando is fine, it's not that bad. Because Scarf Lando forces switches um, when you're in with Lando and Heatran. When you're in on a packs that is not at full. Yeah, like you can get up rocks quite easily. You can get them up sometimes versus opposing landers if you know it's Scarf and they're like locked into Earthquake. Like there's a lot of stuff that you can get up rocks versus. Um, not sure what to go to. I think Coco and... Oh, he went Devastating Dragon. I look like a complete beast here. If I go back into my Landris and I just HP ice him, I probably could just hard HP ice. It's not like he has a Halucha or anything that I need my Coco healthy for, but it's fine. The five punches there does absolutely nothing. Uh, HP invested Coco coming through. Now if he tries to off quick, it's not gonna kill. His speed also not gonna kill. Yeah, the sun is shining in my room. I didn't sleep all night, but still felt like recording. So his Gengar already showed life up, it's not Scarf, so we can tell the opponent there's no speed here, <laughs> just sexist his Gengar. Now, Victini seems fine here, because it doesn't let the Zard set up. I guess if it's X, um, it kind of lets it set up. So yeah, we have Electric Terrain support for Victini so to um, power up Bolt Strike. So we have U-turn, Bolt Strike, Brick Break, and V-Create. Brick Break is for um, stuff like Tyranitar. Tyranitar and Tyranitar and I think I can U-turn, I don't need this at full, I'm gonna live with Shadow Ball. Tyranitar and Weaver can potentially Pursuit Trap this after it gets a kill, so that can be annoying in some matchups, but if they don't have a Pursuit Trapper, you just spam V-Create the entire game if you keep this healthy, which is cool. Or like, you don't even need it healthy, you just Volt turn into it, which is just what I like so much about this team. Um, slow Volt. Slow U-turn with Scissor and then fast Volt Switch and fast U-turn with these two. Um, pretty much just U-turn out here again into my Tapu Koko. If he goes Zard, then I get to Volt Switch to find out if he's X or Y. If he's uh, Y, he's a huge problem, obviously. I think Hydro Vortex does like uh, 90 from Kaldeo. Like 87 to 105 or something was the roll. So pretty much now um, I Volt out. I Volt out into my Mongus. Actually, Mongus loses to this if it's Calm Mind. This is a bad. So I think I go Hard Victini. Unless it's T Wave there, I'm fine. And I get V Create and I get another kill. Yeah, he could go Hard Zard potentially, but it will still take a lot and will be forced to Roost most likely. So I don't lose anything from clicking this. Still, I only have to be careful about um, if he now goes to Zarex and sets up. But I have the Intimidate and Lando. I should be Gooch. So Hard Lando here because if he's Zard, why? Um, that's fine, I don't need my Lando, and if he's X, then I get Intimidate off. He Megas, which I don't really agree with, he should have stayed regular form. Because I don't know, if he probably doesn't know, obviously I don't have Stonage, but still would have been the better play in my opinion. Now, since this is low ladder, I'm just gonna off quick, yep. And even if he switched, um, he would have been forced to wish, probably, I would have gotten my switch. And do either Kaleo or uh, Tapu Koko. So I want to show you guys the power of this Kaldeo set. Um, we can taunt him here. He missed the Toxic there, which sucked for him. I was expecting a Scald there. But pretty much I was going to taunt the CM and then Secret Sword. Weaken him for either Victini or Coco. Well, let me say have fun. So finally we have a team that looks somewhat normal. Uh, so now we can focus a bit more on the game. Uh, Coco is like a perfect lead in this matchup. So I just love Coco so much with Sugarberry because... Like, I can just lead with it, even if they lead land, or just click HPIs. If they switch next turn, you can just vault out. You don't have to worry about um, them off quaking turn 1, because you have Shuka. So we see Electric Terrain goes first, means he's defensive and not Scarf. What he could do, he doesn't really have a counter for this, like he's super weak to this. So he goes for Rocks, which is a horrible play in my opinion. Now if he's Scarf Greninja, he might try to go hard Greninja on the HPIs, but I don't really know what else he can do. He goes Salastila. So he might think that I'm choice, but I'm not. So we just click T-Ball now. I'm expecting like a heavy slam on each seat. Um, so now I have a flex here, a roost on the protect, which is like literally not necessary at all. 
T-Bolt is little like my better play, but yeah, I had to, I had to do it to him. <laughs> Just to show him what's good. So now I can see him going into Landris here, predicting the T-Bolt. So it's unnecessary, but I'm really tempted to HP Ice to predict either the Land or the Zygarde. Because he doesn't want to lose his Celestila exactly. This was just a basic prediction. Um, wasn't necessary, but just was pretty obvious to me that he was gonna make that play. Cause like, I, I, like from just from how he played the first few turns, I could kind of tell how he would play. And yeah, the team is performing well so far. And so, oh, what's this? What's the score? Six and zero on this account. So yeah, yeah gonna vault out now um, I don't think he's gonna protect again because last time I roosted that he is gonna protect again okay uh, I guess I could have hard switched out yeah, yeah I could have hard switched out but it doesn't matter the 12 the few percent that I lost with um, the lead from lead sheet um, and other matchups problem Pokemon that are a problem to this team so Tapu Lele um, can be a problem for this team he goes yeah this guy's like ass uh, his plays are bad in my opinion yeah, now I can go Scizor, right? Because Max Defend. Oh, so I was talking about Tabu Lele. This is, um, I think, Bandit Zygarde. I don't need this for much besides this. Uh, but Ruth is still the play just to have it. Nah. Um, yeah, yeah, Ruth still was the play. And now I got a U turn into my Coco. So Tabu Lele, um, Victini can at least switch in once or twice. If you can keep rocks off, but other than that, it's hard to switch into. But you just have to not let it come in for free. The Lily, um, I guess you can chip it with vault switches from Coco. Just talking about threats to the team, you guys can probably tell what is going on. Um, so I'm gonna go Coco here, expecting okay, I didn't expect the earthquake. Um, so I'm going to T Bolt here, expecting him to no, no, I can roost here because T Bolt, uh, if he earthquakes again, it doesn't even kill me. So he protects there. I figured he would make a bad play like that. Now we can debolt. Uh, losing the sugar berry kind of sucks. Uh, him having earthquake. If his last move is heavy slam, that means he cannot touch. Oh yeah, that means he cannot touch my scissor. So I gained really useful information right there. So I think he's gonna protect again. Uh, bad play, in my opinion. Now he might go back into Zygarde, but I'm not. I'm, I don't care. That's why Mega evolved my scissor to take the Zygarde on a bit better. So, yeah, he keeps making this awful play, in my opinion. Like, I already predicted it once. Like, I showed him that I can predict them easily if I want to. But I don't think it's necessary. Like, he could double into, like, Zard and put some pressure on me. But he's just not doing it. So, these rocks are, like, really annoying. So, I think I'm going to default this time. Uh, because I also have this in the back to come in on the Zygarde at least once. Now, we know he can't touch me, so... I can literally roost on this, and like, I know his LSD is getting health back, but I don't really care because now I go into Victini heart in case he protects. Uh, if he earthquakes, good play, but I just want to get my Victini and start doing damage to his team. Yeah, he heavy slams there, and V create seems to be the play of choice. Yeah, both Strike and Terrain does a lot of stuff like packs. You unfortunately don't have Zen on this, but Brick Break can be really nice because, especially versus ladder people, they like to go, they like to go hard into their, into their Tita for some reason. Even though it's not the play to make, in my opinion. If you see Tita and Heatran, then you just spam U-turn or Brick Break usually with this team. I guess yeah, Heatran is a bit annoying. So I really want to U-turn here and to just have the momentum up because I don't necessarily need this healthy. And exactly, if he goes Zard, I didn't want to let that in for free. He could have doubled Zard way earlier, but he didn't. So now, um, what I can do here is go to Tapu Koko to Volt Switch to find out if he's Zard X or Y. Um, if he's Zard Y, he might not want to stay in. But if he goes hard Zagat, I'm completely fine with that. And if I see that he's Zard X and he stays in, I can go co um, into land and intimidate him. So he does make that play, which is, in my opinion, like really obvious and predictable. But like I said, I don't care if he makes it. Because, yeah. It doesn't matter too much. I just have to see that I didn't get my scissor healthy. But scissor, if I hit my scissor, he gets a Zardin again. Hmm. It, will, it will be fine. It will be fine. The super power is there for some reason. That didn't hit anything on my team. So, not sure what he predicted. Now, this gives me U turn on rocks. 
I think the U-turn momentum is uh, better in this scenario, just to get Victini in and click V-Create. Clicking Victini and uh, getting Victini in and clicking V-Create is like what is so fun about this team. And his Zygarde is already weakened, so it does not want to come in again. Like, I love this team. It's um, not only fun, it's also effective if you know how to use it. And I'm not saying like I mastered this team or anything, I only used it a few games, but it's just super fun for me. Did I explain everything? Um, yeah, HP Fire on Among Us is obviously the check Cartana, if I didn't talk about that yet. That did so much because I crit him, unfortunate crit, but it would have done a lot anyway. Now, um, yeah, Among Us just comes out here. The juicy regenerator doesn't care if he gets for nature's madness or what he goes for. So Moonblast is there for some reason. So I would expect him to go into either the Zard or the Steeler here. Uh, so now I think I can make a double. I think he's Zard Y because he switched out of my Coco earlier. But yeah, I think I can make a double into my um, to my Victini here. So he stays into nature's madness. Yeah, yeah okay. So um, I don't necessarily agree with that play, but it worked for him. It's fine. Like, basically, I'm trying to get my Victini in as often as possible to put uh, damage out, right? To dish damage. So that the game doesn't take forever. But sometimes when I do that, I get impatient. That's a, that's a problem. I have to stay patient. So this guy has shown that he doesn't want to... No, no, I'm going to go Coco again here. Because if he ninja's madness, um, I can roost. And I, doesn't wanna, I don't want to let his Charizard in for free. That's why pretty much I'm making those plays. So now I'm gonna go Landris here, it covers the E-Speed, it covers a thousand arrows. I assume he's gonna E-Speed, not wanting to lose his Zygarde, so technically I could go still operating that, but it's not worth it. So Landris over all the play and then we U-turn from there. He does go for T-Arrows. Um, uh, I guess if I can get rid of his Finny, then I can go for Rocks afterwards. Yeah, I could've just bolted so I can kill this Finny earlier, but I was fearing the Zygarde to come out. Probably should have just bolt strike with my bolt strike with my Victini to be quite honest. Um, so I can either go Among Us or Scizor here. Hmm. I want to go Keldeo. Yeah, I got X. I guess we can do that. That does a lot, so he's definitely banned. We already knew that. Now um, the Finny is gonna come out here. So what we're gonna do is in that would Tapu Coco here on the top of Finny switch. And uh, click Roost. He's unfortunately getting some leftovers back. But that's not a big deal. Um, so Roost into Volt Switch should be the play. This also covers him trying to go back into Zygarde and gets me out of E-Speed range. Which he keeps making this play, which is in my opinion such a horrible play. Like, like if you do it like once or twice, maybe okay. But he just does it all game. Like, to be fair, he doesn't have a good answer for Coco. But that's just an arrow in... It's an arrow in team building. Like... You should just like rebuild your team if you're this week to Tapu Coco. So Stila here, um, I don't need this at full or anything, so I'm just gonna click T-Build. I could Roost Break in the Protect because this guy is so obvious, like he's so easy to read. There's just no point. Okay, he does try to, he does try to um, predict my Roost. So we're just gonna T-Build again because I think he's gonna break my Roost again. He, nope, he doesn't. Okay, okay. But yeah, there's no ground type left, so I just click T-Bolt and something dies here unless he goes... Yeah, he has no such And he does like a step of Finny, which is probably gonna live because I'm not making special attack. Never mind, it dies. If, like, if he was with death, he could have lived there for sure. So now, um, Steeler comes back up, which makes... Yeah, this guy just makes no sense. He should have gone Greninja at least, but yeah, he can win this game. That by the probably was a huge threat, if it is that way. It could be a problem in theory, but he never went into it. Like, he, early when my scissor roosted or defogged, he should have, like, went to this. I think he only went to it once, I think, when I defogged. But he never went to it when I roosted. So he could have gotten this in way more often. So, yeah. This video is gonna be um, longer to start off the series. I don't know if I said it already, but at the end of the video, I'm always gonna show you guys the score. Tebow doesn't kill from here, I think, because terrain is down and everything. So we're just just gonna vault, 
Um, he's X, okay. So I thought he was Y the entire time because he kept switching out of my Coco. I don't know if I want to go hard to this, but I think that's fine. So he might be Adamant because it's low ladder, so off quick here. Uh, even if he's Jolly, obviously off quick is always my play to not let him DD again. Uh, there's actually a big threat since Melanda got chipped. Why? How did Melanda get chipped? Oh yeah, but I got. Maybe that was a misplay. So now. Um, Missy terrain ended, which means dragon moves are not weakened anymore. F, F, that sucks. So not having Zen Hutbutt sucks here. I might just lose to this. I didn't think he would be X, to be quite honest, just from how he has been playing it. So I have to go to this, but I'm... I'm gonna die to Dragon Claw, most likely. But I hope that he has Outrage. He has Thunder Punch. Yeah, I just lose to this. What the fuck? Hmm... Yeah, I can't do anything. What the fuck? I guess I have to kill him with recall. If, he's, if he has roots, I have to poison him ASAP. So yeah, as, um, as you guys can see, both Zards are a problem for the team. I didn't even consider that X. I was just focused on Zard Y based off how he played it. But yeah, thankfully we were able to put him in range with recall. <laughs> Damn. So I just, um, if you see Zard, you have to keep your land or Keldew healthy in case it's X, so they can take at least one hit. Uh, and since I lost my Mungus, I can lose to the Greninja now. Because V uh, is Ash, he just gets Ash here, because I can prevent that. And then I just lose, yeah. So we lose to Ash Ninja now, unless we dodge. We get two chances to dodge. Double Coco first chance. <laughs> and yeah, really unlucky win there. Um, that sucks to win like that. Damn, when you have to luck in low ladder, feels bad. <laughs> we are gonna keep going to the, until we hit 14 or 1500 at least for the first episode, right? So yeah, people are finally having normal looking teams. So I learned my lesson. Try to keep Landris. Try to keep Landris and kill you healthy when you see Zard. Okay, okay. I just haven't played enough with this team. That's the thing. But yeah, Landris just an amazing lead in this matchup. Just gonna off quick here. Um, problem is if he Skull burns me, but usually I try to Toxic Spike or Toxic Turn One. Ah, I just said keep Landris healthy when you see Zard, and then he. I mean, yeah. My other play would have been hard Coco, but that would have also sucked with the burn. So now he walls me because he got that stupid burn. Mm. Quite unfortunate. So we're gonna go. We're not gonna give up though. So we're gonna go Kelio and if he's why he's gonna Solar Beam here. If he's X, he should switch into his. Packs. So we're gonna go on the top of Coco that should cover the solar beam and the Tangrowth. Okay, yeah, that, was, that plan also made sense, but I thought he would go Packs. So now we get to Vault. Um, he's either, no, he's either going Drill or he's um, staying in. So I think Scissor covers both. I don't want to Vault switch and have him go Scissor, basically. That's why I went that play. Yeah. So now we get to U-turn here. Um, no Magnuson, thankfully. When I was testing this earlier on another account, I kept facing Magnuson. And we well it just was pretty annoying. So just if he's Y I could Volt Strike here, but I don't know if he's Y. So I think uh, I can go Kelio and we have seen earlier that Kelio scares him out into Tangrowth. So what we can do is go Kelio and then double into Victini on a Tangrowth. And I think like Bolt Strike expecting him to go on a Toxapex here. Expecting the V create. And this should work out, I think, yeah. If he goes in a drill, we look like a complete fool. Or if he stays in, but he goes Greninja. I'm not sure why that was the switch in, but yeah, Greninja dies. Bop. So a big teeny put in some work there. I don't know if I said it already, but I'm super tired, right? But I just felt like recording. So yeah, if I misplay, it's also because I'm tired. So yeah, that's Lily. It's a threat, but I pretty much have my Lily check in. So I don't know why he went to this when I have my check to you in. 
So yeah, he's probably specs or something. Cause he's slow. I don't know what the fuck this guy is doing. So now you should go into Excadrill if he has a brain. But I don't have a play that covers all options. If I had a play that covers Moonblast and Excadrill. Yeah, I mean, Scissor kind of covers all options, right? If he's Choice Scarf. No, he's not Choice Scarf. So I'm just gonna bolster. He makes the obvious drill play. But it's low ladder, so like, no point. And this guy's been playing really weird. So like, no point in predicting too much. Um, I guess Lando seems quite useless. Uh, rocks can be nice, but if he's Sash, he's just gonna stay in here. So part of me just wants to... Part of me just wants to U-turn. Now, um... Specs is quite annoying, but if he didn't have the drill, then I could just go Coco and vault around. Like if his drill was a Landris, then my Coco would be so much better by just vaulting around because Landris just gets HP iced. But drill obviously like doesn't take HP iced. Like it takes it better, is what I'm trying to say. It takes it. But Lando doesn't take it. So I have a few plays which would be Keldeo, Hard Victini, Among Us. Um Coco is the play, yeah. I have a few plays. So my play now is uh, Among us here to absorb the toxic spike. I'm expecting they're gonna Excadrill or go for Baneful Bunker. They like to carry that on low ladder sometimes. So here's Tangros. Now he might. I don't have to fear his Zard coming out. His play probably would be um, going to Toxapex. I'm gonna Sludge Bomb just in case he tries to stay in knockoff. I mean, I don't need, really need my AV this game, but yeah, just in case he does that exactly, I want to try to poison him and do a good amount of damage to him. That does nothing, he's AV. So now, um, he's most likely going to go to Toxapex. I want to take advantage of that and go into my Victini. As he goes for Hidden Power Fire or Ice. Probably Ice. But yeah, now we just click... Just click... I really want to click Bolt Strike, but I think he might stay in this time. But yeah, we're going to click Bolt Strike. <sighs> ah, that hurts, that hurts. So now <laughs> we have to cover the incoming Excadrill. It still did so much though, because 28, never mind. I thought it did 44. His damage was 44. So we have to cover him staying in and going Excadrill, which means we can go Scissor here. And we just get a free U turn. Amazing, amazing. Midground play working out. Uh, obviously not that hard on low ladder to make midgrounds. And yeah, like I'm don't care if I'm not playing optimal every game, I just wanna have fun. And now we get to my team is super low, this is dangerous. Yeah, I think we go um Tapu Coco. But I'm not really accomplishing much with these doubles because he has regenerator, so if I double on the drill. But I basically have to double on the drill. Here we double on the drill into Scizor. Like, I'm not really accomplishing anything. But he doesn't have leftovers, right? He doesn't, okay. This is gonna rapid spin here, right? Mm hmm. Hmm. So maybe it's just time to go Keldeo and see him up. But I don't want my Keldeo to get weakened. Actually, his Tangrus is low. Yeah, this is the play. This is the play that I should have done earlier. So, um, this might be Scarf. Pretty sure his later was slower than my Victini. So, yeah, we see him here predicting Pex. Because Tang is a bit low, so he shouldn't go to use Tang well. So, I didn't just. Um, Secret Thought this twice, probably. No, he should go in a the pecs so we're gonna see I'm breaking the pecs but no this guy just doesn't want to switch okay okay don't get that play at all but CM pretty much covered him staying in as well so it was a fine play so we can uh, secret sword to either kill the Tangrowth or if he goes into pecs then we can taunt him next turn because I don't think he's gonna expect the taunt because it's a low ladder um, so we just want to taunt he might not have toxic but I still want to taunt him in case he has it uh, in case he has haze especially yeah, yeah, I have to taunt him because he has haste. So he does try to haste us. That doesn't work. Um, we can just go for Hydro and miss. <sighs> Don't burn me, dude. Oh my fucking god, this game, dude. <sighs> it's 
fuck, so much just hit. I, sh I, I could have secret sword as depending on. But I think he fits that. That's why I hydro. So we tank. Oh my god. Hydro again here on the incoming packs. Hydro into the hydro might be able to do the job. I hope if this hydro connects, if it misses, I'm done. And if it's. Now is the problem that I was talking about earlier. If it's Zard, is. X. Now my team is just in range to lose to it. Because, like, his defensive core was too annoying. So, like, I focus on, like, dashing out damage instead of, like, keeping my mons healthy. Um, the problem was that I let my victim take that off quick. I should have just recreated it earlier. Because even if Pax came in, it wouldn't have been a big deal. Yeah, that was the, that was the misplay for sure. But now I feel myself kind of forced to go into Lando here. To you turn out. Because if he goes out, I can at least see what form he is. And I get intimidating because he's X. If he's Y, I have to pick my father. Like, I could rock here if he's Y, but if he's X and I rock, I'm screwed. And yeah, you turn carries the switch. So... I'm just click recreate here. But if he's X, he sets up afterwards and destroys me. And my other play would have been going scissor and you turning again, but probably would have just gone to Zard or Drill. And eventually I have to go VT and click recreate to like dish out damage to him. So now if Zard comes out and his X, I think I just lose. So we take notes that we already we already knew before the game that that is a, that is a huge problem. <sighs> Do we need this? I mean if he's X we lose right here if we stay in. Like, no matter what we do, I think we just lose. I think we go Lando, though. He is X, so at least he uh, Megas. We get the Intimidate. I mean, that's only that doesn't matter unless he's Adamant. The, the, the part of him mega -ing. But if he's Adamant, then I get an Earthquake off here, which would be cool. But doesn't even do that much, because I'm burned. So he is that sad. And, yeah, I think I... I have to fish for Para with T-Bolt. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I so weak to this? Like what? But honestly, that is um kind of underrated. Lando is like the only good answer to it besides Quagsire, and you can wear down Lando quite easy. No matter if it's Scarf or Defensive. If it's Scarf, it's even easier to wear down, obviously. Uh, if my Victini had Zen Head, but that would be lovely. Um, basically, I have to pray that I get a Sludge Bomb Poison. Uh, obviously he can just flip it to me, but then he takes recoil, which is cool. And the recoil means I can click brick break. Um, unfortunately, if I had Zen, this would have been oh fuck. I thought he would like try to roost, and maybe brick break does more than half, but it wouldn't have even have done that much. So we just lose to this. Nice, amazing. <laughs> I need a miracle now if you roost, I need a T-Bolt para. Oh, he doesn't have roost! Win condition found! Win condition found! Para is there! Um, Cause Scissor could not have won the game. Damn, I'm so lucky and bad. <laughs> In this scenario at least. Like basically it's just me being impatient versus um, his bookie call like I said. So not caring about his offensive threat, Zardex. Um, I can still lose to the thing, to the Lily. Forced to go scissor here. I think I am... Like if I'm him, I would go Lily, but I don't know. <sighs> if you off quick see I'm screwed. Yeah, yeah, I figured he would do that. So now he have to U-turn. Well, he can off quick again. He should go Lily, right? He really should. Oh, he left. It's lit. So, unfortunately, I hacked that guy. Uh, also, second the Victini was another misplay before second the other months. But I was just hoping for like a Ruth choke. But yeah, uh, so far we were able to hack through the hard matchup of Zard X. Um, after I misplayed it, if Eclipse sees this video, it's probably gonna. Be like, yeah, you could have done this and this and this with Zarek. But dude, I didn't sleep all night. I just wanted to have some fun on the ladder. 
<laughs> it's funny how I say to on one, um, well, I should probably keep my landers healthy and then I just let it take a skull burn. So I most likely should have gone into my um, Coco turn one. But kind of what made me not go Coco is him having the drill in the back. And so basically I would have had to go Coco on the skull, I would have gotten burned, right? Would have been annoying. Then I would have to double on his drill. And he would have gone from there. Just would have been super annoying with Coco being burned because you have, have to roost more often. Not sure if we can even make the 1400s if the games take that long. Well, if it's a 90 minute video, it's not a 90 minute video. We're making 1400s. And we have a Weewall there, which is uh, annoying because it can pursue our Victini. So usually versus these type of teams, when Landris is fine lead because they like to lead Nidoking, King and then you can U-turn out into Keldeo because they're going to either Ice Beam or Rock. And if they lead, if they lead Gera, then you can just get the Intimate. And now you U-turn, or I U-turn. And I have the option of going um, Scissor or Coco if he's, if he's Mega. I mean, he's probably not going to Mega even if he's Mega because he wants to stay. Resist U-turn, he wants to resist U-turn. So, usually um, I would assume it's Mega Scissor, but on low ladder it can also be Bandit Scissor. Mega Scissor is like definitely kind of common on low ladder, like it's an unset, but it's common on low ladder. Um, he either went for DD or... Yeah, I think Scissor is the... Hmm. No, if he's, if he's not Mega, this wasn't the play. The play was... Yeah, the play was going Coco and clicking T-Bolt, now that I think about it, yeah. Play was definitely going Coco. Because uh, now at plus one, Coco cannot live a hit. But. Thankfully, we have the trusty Landris with Intimidate. Um, I can live a Waterfall because I'm bulky, and in this match, he doesn't have a Zard, so I don't have to worry about Don't flinch me. Good, good, good. And now we can go with Coco, which is what I should have done earlier. And <laughs> the but it's just me being uh, like not thinking, just clicking too fast. I don't know if I said it in this video, but usually I make the mistake when that, uh, of clicking too fast when I'm not recording. So like recording helps me to play better because I think about my plays. But at the moment I'm so tired that even that doesn't help me. But yeah, I hope you guys um, are enjoying this so far. I mean, I think my resin is still okay, but if I'm um, not tired, it would obviously be better. But I was just so hyped to do this. I like, didn't care that I was tired as fuck. In my head, I knew I should have gone to sleep first. But yeah, now I'm expecting Sludge Rave or Sh uh, of Power to come out. Basically, you can go Among Us here, because it can take some hits. Oh, Ice Beam's there, which is pretty much a bad... I don't like that play at all, but it worked. Now we get some good damage. <laughs> How did I say it's so weird? I was gonna say Gucci damage. We get some good damage with a uh, stomping tantrum. I doubt he's gonna switch. I just wanna break a potential sash. And like he should just off power twice or sludge wave twice. So that I cannot go Kelly on an ice beam. I would probably have to sack this. But he doesn't have another special attack, so I don't need this mon. So I'll just sack it and go Kelly after. Um, yeah, he makes a bad play in my opinion. You should just go for off power or sludge wave to cover the Kelio incoming. Um, so we sacked this, right? Now he makes the off power play. Yep, and now we go Kelio, right? No, wait, we go. Though I could also go Victini, but then I get trapped after Bohua. So I'd rather go Kelio. I think a good play. Um, hmm. I mean, honestly, um, attacking is the better play. I like really want to click Hydro and save my Z move, but knowing my luck, it's gonna miss. So I'm just gonna use the Z move. Like, but just based off experience, like from so far, whenever like I had a scenario earlier, I think when I wasn't recording, especially. I always miss my Hydro, so I'm just gonna click the Z if I don't need it. So if he gets a kill there, see, I'm obviously would have been better. But I think I still get another kill. I don't know how he beats this at all. 
pretty much everything on his team. This is what we want to do. So yeah, he has to like beat me with something into bullet punch range, but that's not easy for him to do. Foul play into uh, knock into ice crash and the bullet punch. I don't know. <laughs> I think he just loses to this. Nice. But yeah, like it's kind of disheartening or what? Yeah, that, like I didn't play optimal in the in in this game with the not going Coco hard on the gear and then the other game with the letting my <laughs> Lambda get burned turn one by Pex. But Pex is just such a stupid Pokemon. Like it's just it's just not funny to play against because they can just stay in versus Landris click Scald. If they get the burn then they wall you. If they don't get the burn, okay. They can just switch out and get regenerator. Then 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 later they get regenerator again and then we do miss. Like I said, I always miss, that's why I click the Z. Well, and now my one that would have molested his team <laughs> is dead. So I guess that's some justice for me hexing the Zard guys in the games before. Um, if I lose my Victini, I think my team gets walled by Umbreon. So I think I'm forced to go Landers here. The problem I have here, he can sex something and then go Weevil and pursue me. That's the problem I have. Then I lose my speed control. So this is all. Um, it's probably Bennett and he's either gonna bullet punch or pursuit. Um, my play is always my scissor. He makes the good play. But now he's life up, okay. But now... Um, the problem here is... I think I just go to this and click bullet punch. I don't want a U-turn because if he has U-turn as well and he's not speedy, then he has a slower U-turn than me. And I don't want him having slower U-turn to go momentum. And he crits me for no damage because Mega Scissor is bulky as fuck, especially with this investment. Basically, um, almost every Magnezone these days is Scarf in the metagame. So in my opinion, there's no point in running um, speed and Scissor. There might be some ones that you can creep, but the main ones that comes to mind is Magnezone. So he's gonna foul play here. I don't know if I wanna let Victini take that. But if I go Coco, he just waltz me, so I think I have to. Ooh, yawn, okay. So I'm gonna fall to sleep. If he sex scissor here, then I will get pursued. So I think I U-turn here to prevent um, falling asleep. I mean, if he has protect, then I fall asleep, yes. But if he switches, ah, oh, he has protect, okay, okay. That makes sense, actually. So this makes me go scissor now, because... I hope his Nidoking dies to bullet punch, I'm not sure if it does, I'm have to run a calc real quick. Nido. Because I don't have investment in this. Oh, I forgot to change the songs. I meant to change the songs beside, between the games, my bad guys. To um, to make this more interesting. So yeah, we U-turn again. Uh, this time in the Coco. Um, so we can just t bolt here, right? I know he has a lot of wishes, but I'm gonna have to stall this out. Uh, Vault, Vault. Heart Nidos, okay, makes the good play. Didn't think he would, didn't think he would. So now, off power is his play. If he flames throws, he gets me good. I didn't even calculate if my bullet punch kills. Bullet punch doesn't kill F. I can't even lift this. I should have roosted versus Umbreon. Oh, he chokes and t bolts Why would you t bolt Elf Power hit everything on my team. They make a huge misplay there. But the thing is, he can still go hard to zone and HP and bullet punch me. But that's okay. Why are these games like so. Oh, yeah, I missed the Hydro Pump, that's why. But the last games were so close as well, and I had to luck. Like this game, the Hydro Pump miss mattered a lot. But last game, I also hexed the Zard guys. So I can't say anything. Last games, yeah. In case he doesn't pursue it, we go hard so to keep the Coco around. Yep. We always bullet punch here. Um, doesn't really matter. I just don't want to let him roost. Yeah, now I have the game backed up. Because he, he didn't off power for some reason. But I probably could have still won with just Scissor and Victini combined. Victini pretty much gets a kill when it comes in on Umbreon. But you should kill it from the range it's at. And now he uh, let me get it in range from U-turn. 
So he might protect it with the flex play he has roost, but there's no reason to make that play. So Victini is still asleep also, never mind, I didn't have it guaranteed. Um, yeah, I mean, if he goes people, he can Ice Shadow Pursuit me, depending on what he predicts. Same with Scizor, Bullet Punch versus Pursuit. But yeah, my Scizor just solos at this point, because uh, his Embryon died. Uh, like, Embryon could have maybe wish stalled out a bit, but you don't have so many PP. After Nidoking King went down, I had it, yeah. So, don't really care if he wants to Ice Shard me, pursuits me as he's... Oh yeah, 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 I forgot to say, this Coco is uh, so bulky that it's slower than we were. It only has speed for Greninja. Maybe just click Bullet Punch and win. Um, GG. Good god, 50 minutes in, 51 minutes. I'm gonna change the song after this. I really meant to change it every game, but since I'm so tired, I forgot about that. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna let you guys suggest in the description what you want me to use in the next in the next video. But yeah, I'm gonna let, I'm gonna pause it real quick and change the music. Okay, we are back. Okay, so I might pre-record some episodes, so I'm not sure if there's a point in letting you guys suggest what you want me to use in the next episode. But basically, um, well, Corona a big threat for this team as well. Didn't even talk about it yet because it's not that common. But if you have 15 at full, it can probably take a hit. Yeah, but it's a really big threat. It's also, like, it's just hard to prep for in general, Rock Runner. Um, there's probably, like, Z movements plus Mega Gardevoir. Nice and innovative team. Looking like Auras, kinda, but like Unmons. Still scary, though. So, I think uh, Kelly could be a good lead here. Yeah, let's do that. So, it's Mammothwine, a uh, super obvious lead. So, we just secret thought here because, um,. To break the potential sash, and we all know what happens when I click Hydro Pump misses, so I'm not gonna do that. Like I think it only missed once or twice in this video, but off screen I missed Hydro Pump uh, like four times. So he goes Hard Feral Thumb, which is a really bad play. I was hoping we were getting out of the range where people make these shit plays. So he sh might go Gardevoir. No, P just sacks it. So nice. So Gardevoir comes out. Uh, Victini is my play here, and I just click. Well, no, stop. So earlier I made the mistakes of letting my mons get chipped, but now I'm not gonna let my Victini get chipped because Volcarona just destroys me if I do that. So, um, if my Kaleo is still worth keeping then I have to switch to something else. If it's not worth keeping then I have to just see Hydro. And I think I just wanna see Hydro... Scissor, Scissor... Like Scissor also deals with Mammoth Swine. Oh, let's go Scissor, it's fine. Um, Kelly, we can still do work and also potentially check the Volcarona. So now, um, I'm expecting a hard Volk, Kelly, or Mens, or a Will O Wisp to come out. But I don't really have a double that covers all options. Like, if I break the Volk, I go to Victini or Kelly. But that doesn't cover. It. Like, Victini covers the Wisp and it covers the Volk, but it doesn't cover the Kelly on the Mens. Um. I think I just bullet punch. Yeah, he goes Volk. But doesn't burn me, thankfully, in case he has. We don't know if he has Flame Body or Swamp. So we go Hard Victini here. Uh, the most common set is like the Bug Bus or the Psychium at the moment. Yeah, so it's probably Psychium. I don't know, I did a lot. But yeah, we just click the button here and get one. So now I let us take Chip, yes. But I mean, what else am I gonna do? I kinda have to. At least I didn't bring it hard in on the guard of earlier. So that's gonna hurt. Ooh, nice crit. Damn, I'm lucky today. That's the last game. So, man's forfeits. Nice. Okay, so finally, faster game. Because I don't want to make this longer than 80 minutes. <laughs> Maybe 90 minutes is my maximum that I'm going. Okay, this guy has some heat. Nice UU team. <laughs> I don't know if these mons are all in UU. Some of them might even be in RU. So, looking like. Besides the Lazard, so it kind of just solos the team on the other side. So, he might have like HP fire on some of these. Like obviously, um, this gets. This might have HP fire. I don't know. Does this get fire punch? I'm not sure. Um. Oh uh, yeah, Kelly destroys him. So we just lead it. So we're gonna expect the shame here. Um, we we'll go to Scizor and get a U-turn off. Could also just go for Secret Sword to check uh, the damage. 
I think that's what we're gonna do because just in case he stays in it's turn one we don't want to play too aggressive so we see it's good damage on the shaman that probably tells us that it's shaman is offensive so we can just go into Amungus. I think shaman gets psychic but I'm AV so it's fine I think it does get it yep so we eat that up that does absolutely nothing so it's probably scarf so I'm expecting a switch here into one of these three boys mmm good sludge bomb I could I can pull a double in the scissor but it doesn't cover his salazzle um, I think double into Coco is the play. Yep. So now we have to vault out here. Uh, if he stays in, I can just go Scissor. Uh, he has a Rhyperia, let me think, before I click. So I can just go Scissor because it covers the Rhyperia and it covers him staying in as he stays in the Earthquake. So now, I don't know if this gets any fire coverage. But I think U-turn is my play here to predict the Salazzle. I know Salazzle is threat as fuck, but he might still want to try to go to it. Yep. Um, this might be 4 times resisted, I don't know exactly, but definitely. I don't know if poison resists the bug, but now we can um, hover over and see the, the, the speed here. So we can just go off quick with our landris here, because just Garth and his ground, he doesn't have a ground immunity, and his ground resist is already weakened, so yeah, he sex is a lazzle. So it says all kind of solos now, but just have to be careful about fair alligator and potential Z move on the Hunchcrow. Or potential fire punch on Rhyperia. Um, so Honchko coming out knowing that I'm locked in hard top Coco terrain and which I didn't think through. But I think I can roost here. Try to cover the Rhyperia play and also cover him staying in. Yep. So now I'm kind of feeling a fire punch. So I want to go Landris instead of. He might just go for rocks. Yeah, I wanted to go Landris there instead of Scythoing. Or Among Us instead, if he, if he has Ice Punch. So, um, we just click Earthquake. No, no, we don't. We click U-Turn. Because if he stays in, he probably went for Ice Punch. So, we go Scissor. And he has E-Toxics. I don't know if he has Fire Punch, but... We're gonna Defog. I think I'll leave a Fire Punch, because he's at minus one. I, like, let me just check if it gets the Learn. Because I don't want to say anything wrong, right? Like, I know I say some, something wrong anyway, because I'm tired, but... I want to know at least if it gets fire punch, uh, guaranteed. So it does get fire punch. Um, I think U-turn is fine here, even if he attacks me because I'm max defense. So we get some chip, veteranu chipu, as some people might say. <laughs> what did I say that? Uh, we can just go. No. Well, I guess Lando and U-turn is fine. I doubt that earthquake kills. Oh, I wanted to say custom set. Custom set, my guy. Where are you at, Landers Terrain custom set? So many Landers sets. Uh, so, fairly get on the other side. Just some random set. So, an um, earthquake, I need a max roll to kill him. I'm not gonna do that. Nice crit. Oh, so lucky. So, he's gonna water move here. Uh, he's ice punching or water falling. So, Kelly's the play. As he did this again. So, he might have superpower, right? If he has superpower, he's gonna go for it. I don't think there's a point in switching though, because if he DDs again on a switch, that's a potential choke. So he doesn't have superpower and we eat it much, much. My other play would have been going um, Lando predicting superpower, but that would not have worked. <laughs> I mean, it kind of would have worked with. I don't need Lando to win, but if he DDs again, it's a no no, so I stand by my play. So we always go Among Us on this, just scale what he locks into. If he doubles into Honchcrow, then we just go into our Coco. And um, I think I just get a free Sludge Bomb here since he went for that. If he goes Glalie, I just get a free Scissor. The best he can do is explode. Unless he runs HP Fire, which I don't think he does, just from how he has been playing so far. So free as Bullet Punch. Actually, Defog. He could he could go for explosion, so we're gonna roost. Um, gotta think about the mid ground. <laughs> he returns for veteran veteran chip. Uh, so we're gonna attempt to defog. If he explodes, it's not gonna do much. We can see return only to 17. This explosion is gonna do like 28, maybe I guess. So he gets Hunch Grow. Um, this gets Heat Wave, um, and it could also have Sky Strike. So Coco is my play here, and I just click um, Sky Strike. I just like roost is what I'm trying to say here. So we eat that up. I could also, if he wouldn't have sky struck me there, I would have T bolted, but now I'm low, so I'm gonna roost. As um, I think Scissor was this. 
pretty sure he doesn't have 5 punch from... So Earthquake rocks Toxic. Probably Stone Edge in the last move. So Earthquake does absolutely nothing and yeah, Scissor just gonna solo him now. Did I already Iron Legs the next game? Not sure. Okay, so 1 hour in and that did fucking 5. But yeah, my boy Scissor... Can Defog Ruth Bullet Punch, pretty much. And I know Bullet Punch is like a 5 hit KO with leftovers on him, maybe even a 6 hit KO if he gets a lot of rounds of leftovers, because if I'm defogging and roosting he gets more turns of leftovers, but I don't really care about that. <laughs> but I just wanted to make this a longer episode in case this series is not coming daily, so you guys have stuff to watch. Um, bullet Punch and he might try to go for um, Sucker Punch, no he roosts, okay. So I, I should have just bullet punched again. Honestly. What if he has heat wave? I stayed and I was a choke. See, basically there I got impatient. I was like, oh scissor just wins, let's get impatient. Thomas that, that's basically um like I don't want to make any excuses, right? But like with the Zadex games I misplayed. But on low ladder especially. I just don't pay that much attention because usually I just button click and usually I win anyway no matter what I do on low ladder. Just with button clicking, even if they have a C team, it usually still works. <laughs> this is slow ladder, like, it's either gonna hex or they're gonna choke one of the two with slow ladder, like. But yeah, basically, when we get to the next episode, then we will face. We'll start facing normal teams. The opponents will not be the best, but we will start facing normal teams. And. I'm gonna choose really careful what I use in this series because I wanna take as little losses as possible. I'm no god, I know this. Like, I'm not gonna say like, Oh, we're gonna make this with 90 GXE, we're gonna go 50 and oh. No, I'm not saying that. I'm definitely gonna take losses, I know this. Um, Hex is gonna happen, odds, and I'm gonna get mad, unfortunately. I know how Pokemon works. And also, um, what else is gonna happen? Some people are gonna have either a good matchup or outplay me. 50-50s are gonna happen. But I'm hyped for it as well. Um, yeah, basically, since... Like, I might only do this once or twice a week myself, but I might only upload the pr project when it's finished, which means you guys will have daily uploads. And yeah, I'll still do slash rank most of the time, or like at the end always, right? So you guys can see that I'm not really skipping games. If I skip a game here or there, it's to get um, decayed points back only. But yeah, to be fair, like this wasn't like really a competitive life. <laughs> it was just me lucking to Zar like me lucking to Zarts in games that I should have lost and that boy That boy Neil King dodging the pump into uh, me almost losing that other game. But it's crazy how um well Rapiria is talking these bullet punches because of uh, solid rock and just uh, Rapiria having crazy defense. Also me not having attack investment. But yeah, we have a draft league at the moment in my Discord. Um, that's pretty fun. I'm not participating, but I'm hyped to watch, spectate these games. Um, it's, there's most likely going to be a video on my friend's channel. Either on Ultra Bolt or Seal's channel. Um, yeah, if you're interested in that, check them out. They have uploaded before on my channel and the channels are in the descriptions on their guest uploads on my channel. If that makes any sense. So Among Us here to scout what he logs into. Not getting caught, not, no reason to get cocky or anything. Uh, free sludge bomb. Glady has to come out. If he stays in, he just loses to this 1v1 without doing anything to me. No poison, because that would be too easy. Uh, so, yeah, this game says I just shined last games. I guess mainly Victini got the kills, and sometimes me lucking through. <laughs> but yeah, you guys can learn from the mistakes that I make when I play fast or impatient. I'm not even playing fast, but I'm playing impatient sometimes. So yeah, don't um, throw away. Like, don't let your lander get scoped on the pecs turn one when they have a Zard, because if it's Zardex, you need your landers healthy. <laughs> and I even said it in turn, I think even like a few seconds before I made the play, I said it, oh, I need my landers healthy. But I'm a lead with it anyway, because usually I U-turn out with it when I lead it, but then I didn't, then he had the pecs, so like I was tempted to use Earthquake predicting a T-Spike or Toxic. So I just did connect it, because, um, Shodan is like, oh yeah, you're lucky in bed, time to disconnect. Um, basically, I don't care if he has HP fire at this point, there's no reason to try to 
six oh my guys so how high are we so we're not even 1300s so i doubt we're gonna hit the 1400s in this episode <laughs> 20 25 more minutes to hit 1300s uh 1400s okay so how is this oh my god this guy is not only we able to trap this but also start so scary matchup scary matchup but yeah this is a matchup where coco just says hi i want to lead off so badly because i'm a coco and his only ground type is weak to my HPIs and everything else I volt switch on besides maybe the Weavile because I don't know if he wants to stay in. So Rachi could be Scarf but I don't need my Coco at full. So yeah that's bulky Rachi. So I'm expecting either U-turn or Rocks I guess. No, ro probably U-turn here. So Rocks go up. How did I know? So I have to defog here but no matter what I do um, even if he hard u turn Oh he has 500. Don't burn me. So this set is not common at all. Usually it's a U-turn wish iron head protect. But yeah, fire punch is rare, but it's, it's kind of fucked me up here. Basically, I don't. I was just expecting him to U-turn into Zard on my default, but instead he fire punch burned me. So it's kind of even worse for me. Um, I think Kelly is my play here. If he hard solar beams, congratulations, you made a good play. Um, don't burn me good. So now, um, I think I want to uh, force, force to do this because, yeah, fuck. Ah, uh, this is going to be tough to win. Like, basically it's low ladder, so I thought he might just stay in. He scouted for edge there. Um, so we call mind. If he U-turns, we're kind of screwed. But I think I have to call mind. Like, can I put offensive pressure? It is a rough matchup. Uh, what could I have done? Like, now he just U-turns. Uh, if he goes Lily, then I know that he's Scarf, and I'm gonna have to go. If I like go Victini, then if I go to Victini, then uh, I kind of don't want to do that because that's my Zard, another Zard check. So yeah, Lily is gonna Psychic here. Um, I really don't want to go Victini, but I also like don't really see another play. <laughs> I don't want to Psych my Kaldio. So that Specs, holy cow! He knew that. Pump doesn't kill because the sun was up. Yeah, yeah, never mind. That was a fun play. So we recreate in the sun. We probably get a kill here. But problem is we get we uh, we get trapped after by Vual. Um, Sexus Landras. Is he slash or anything? He lives because he's defensive. So um, he probably outspeeds. Maybe has some investment. Um, so I can try to keep this. Oh, I didn't. Since I'm at minus one, I'm not gonna get another. Actually, yeah, I'm kind of gonna. I'm gonna get another kill because these two are weak to it. These three, and this would give me sun. And this also has bad defense. So yeah, this worked out kind of better than I thought it would. Nice. If he pursues me now, um, yeah, I have to be. I have to get rocks up, I think, for the Zard. and I have to play with rocks on both sides, because he can get up rocks with his Jirachi. Um, I mean, I can try to switch. Oh, he didn't pursue me. That's so lit. Because now I can potentially win a tie with my Victini versus the Zard. Um, yeah, I have to U-turn here because I can't let the Zard in for free. Oh, he got me. But yeah, this means um, we go Coco, we click HPIs, and Coco in means Zard cannot come in for free. Oh, it cannot come in pretty much. So we want, we keep that out. Nice, nice. Um... Yeah, I feel like I've been playing these games kind of shaky, but the opponents also have like big threats to the team. <laughs> I wonder if Eclipse is like thinking different than me. He's probably gonna be like, ah, oh, you could have easily outplayed this. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Doesn't matter. So we vault out here, and that's offensive Megiana, not not assault vest. So his team is like monolith to hydro, hydro pump Ashgren. Really cool team. <laughs> Fortunately, I didn't have an Ashgren. So yeah, we go with uh, Mungus here as he shift gears up as we yeah, we can just stomping tantrum, right? Yep. So I don't freeze him please, cause I am hard body re I really wanna go for sludge bomb, cover um uh, his Zard. But yeah. Like you never know with these people, they just stay in and go for freeze. Um I could have like tried to make a mid ground, I guess. Maybe going Coco there. But honestly, yeah, so now I have to sack, and what is my sack? 
I kind of want the Weaver for the... I want the Scissor for the Weaver. Victini, I want that because it gets a kill. Lando is for speed control. Lando just wins with Earthquake and has rocks. But I think Kelly has to go. So Kelly go... I, I fuck Kelly is one of the ones that checks this. But yeah, now I got to kill Recreate. Um, but that way alone kind of just beats me. So Kelly wasn't this. Kelly wasn't this. Oh, he's he wins the speed tie. He wins the tie. So my play would have been going um, Coco and clicking T bolt. I had no reason to sack Victini, but something in my head thought I was uh, faster. Something thought in my head that I was faster than the than the Zard. But yeah, this is fi uh, has still, I still have my Coco alive. I thought a hard loss to the Zard. Still have my Coco alive, and I can get up my rocks here, which is. Needed in my opinion. Wait, I can U-turn here if I get the play correct on the Zard. I get my Coco back and I get a kill. But I didn't get it correct. So I assume he went for rocks. He went for U-turn. But this keeps out the Zard. So this is fine. Yeah, this was the correct play. Because, uh, yeah. So Weaver is faster than me. He apparently knows that I'm fat Coco. I don't know. <laughs> so I'm expecting knockoff. I mean, Among Us is not going to do anything. Ice Shard. Oh, yeah, that's why he went to it on the Coco. So we can go with Scizor here, but we pretty much have to U-turn, because if we let the Zard in, he gets a kill, and now we are in business. So we're going to run a Kalk. Yeah, I'm playing these games shaky, I'm sorry guys. <laughs> but yeah, you can uh, have a good laugh if I make a misplay, right? Like, it's not a huge misplay, but I make small misplays. Versus uh, Charizard. My, like Charizard has really good speed def, uh, Mega Z Y. So since I'm not making special attack, I'm not sure if this kills. It does kill. Wow, Coco Goat Mon. I mean, it's electric turn boost. So yeah, he's pretty much gonna be going back to Weewell. and I'm gonna sack off my Among Us. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna sack him off to Sludge Bomb, and uh, then. You can go to this boy, and it's kind of... No, it's not a 50-50. I click U-turn. Bop. There's a lot. Now I go... Uh, the terrain ends if I go Coco. So I don't want to do that, and I should live an Ice Shard since I have the Intimidate, and I have HP Invest that kills well. Weevil is a beast. So technically... Can you say I choked there? No. Did I? I think Scissor still lives an Ice Shard. So t he gets a kill? And yeah, he, if he doesn't knock into Ice Shot... Okay, good, I win. But basically what I'm trying... The only way I could have lost that is if he... Ice Shot crit my Coco, I guess, and killed me now, but it didn't even kill. So I had a guaranteed win. He had to switch out... Click into Ice Will Crash and have me not click Bullet Punch. Yeah, he couldn't win that. So GG, my guy, and... Wow. Whew. I gotta be really careful that... I, I just have to play even slower, because when I'm tired, I'm... I tend to throw games or like not realize what I need healthy. Okay, so this game, I don't know if it's, um, I don't know if it's uh, Mega Sceptile or if it's like some acro shit with some berry, citrus, or whatever, or guav. I don't know what these people run on the ladder, but overall, Sizzle leads up, leads up really well. Coco also leads up really well. Yeah, Coco seems like the play because the only one that Coco leads up. It's slower than his Mega Sceptile and Rewild. And everything else gets Volt switched on, right? So... If he, did, if he led with Sceptile, if, if I didn't want to let this take a Leaf Storm, because I think it all costs or does a lot, I could have hired Among Us. Um, the best he could do with Among Us is double. But he doesn't like have that many Gareth doubles. I guess Gareth is a threat. Yeah, yeah, Gareth is another threat to this team with Zemo for sure. So guys like Awarium both are threats. So yeah, Volt Switch is 20%. From that, um, I can already calc and you already get information that's useful to have. Um, yeah, it's not AV, it's probably Fist Death. I don't know, actually it has some fist, some speed death. Um, yeah, yeah, it has some speed death because it's would have done more of its fist death. Anyway. Scissor or Among Us to play. Oh, I need Scissor healthy for the wee while, so I would rather go Among Us in case he has HP fire. 
So he's, he's like going Mew or Scizor here, I would assume. No, Mew or Gyarados. So I got Sludge Bomb, right? He shouldn't go hard into Scizor. Wow, that's an unplay. What if I HP fired? Um, so, yeah, he got me there. Now I go my Scizor here. If he's SD, that's kind of a threat, but I think he's banded. Because he does 21% to me. So Lola has a banned Scizor fetish. We figured that out as well. Scizor. This is all mega uh, custom set, 15 to 18%. Yeah, I wasn't mega, that's why I did more. So this boy is literally screaming, I have HP fire, and yeah, we're not gonna stay in. Oh yeah, mega set uh, is really cool if you run it with um, Coco and Nature Power, because then it turns into T-Bolt and Electric Terrain, right? If I'm not mistaken. So we're just gonna HP fire, because this guy likes to go into Scizor for some reason, even though it's a horrible Horrible play in my opinion. Just go back to our own scissor. If he wants to pursue us, that's fine. If he wants to U-turn, that's fine. We have our regenerator, we stay healthy. So yeah, he's doing a lot because I'm not mega yet. But that's fine. It's, um, it's probably Rocky Helmet because he's literally bringing this in on me. But it's worth it to mega this just to get the extra defense. He's not even Helmet. So that play made no sense that he just made. I don't want to go hard Victini on a potential knockoff. I should have done it. No, no, it's fine. So, yeah, I'm just gonna Sludge Bomb. I literally showed you HP5. If you go into Scissor again, you're a Wildling. So, I'm expecting the Gera or the Mew more so, or even the Wee Wild. Mm -hmm. So, we don't get a Poison. He could pursue us here, but Scissor is still the play. Um, if he's Bandit, then. Well, Kelly might be the better play. Arcus Bandit knockoff might tweet KO the Scissor. But I just have a feeling that this is all is the play. Like sometimes on Lulera I just go with my guts. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Well, if he knocks and does too much, I can blow punch. But yeah, see? He does some bullshit, so he just rules now. Well, you turn to keep momentum would be cool, but besides Gyarados, not much threatens me. This is no threat. So I kind of don't want a U turn here because then he gets a slow U turn. So I kind of wanted to bullet punch, but on the other hand, um, this is fine. So he's good pros there, okay. I do get a free sludge bomb here, because he's not going to stay, and if he stays then he's not going to do any damage to me, and I have regenerator, who cares. And if he switches, we get that juicy chance to fish for the poison. Also, I want to change the song again. Let me pause it real quick. I keep having the same song. So I had a Mew. The Mew pretty much um, is usually walled by Victini. Even if he has Earth Power, he cannot um, Oko me or do that much. So now, um, if I recreate, I could get pursued afterwards. So I think I want to U turn instead. But yeah, he just doesn't give a fuck. What did he go for? Earth Power? I have no clue what he went for, but if he went for. <laughs> I guess Among Us is the play to scout. He went for rocks. Wow. Wow. Now I can't go back in the Victini, it sucks. Well, I don't want to let this get burned, but I also don't want to let anything else get burned, so X. So we're just gonna fish here. <laughs> See, that's the problem I have sometimes when, when the opponent has a Weavile, then I just don't want to click recreate to get the kill ASAP because I don't want to get trapped. But by not get clicking it and not getting the kill, then you kind of just don't make progress. Okay, that's the point. So now he's forced to heal. Which means I um, can get a free switch into my Keldeo here. On the softball, he seems to be running a normal set. Oh, yeah, Ice Beam Switch is on play. So we just. Secret Sword here. He could go to Tangrowth, but it doesn't really matter to me. I could also taunt this, but then he dies to poison. Yeah, that's fine, this is fine. So I'm expecting uh, the Sceptile or the Tangrowth come out and yeah my boy Amoongus is still here with the AV I know rocks and burn but still we eat those we eat those like giga drains so now we just sludge bomb right like man's can go hard scissor but not a big deal if he does I guess he could pursue me with scissor would be a good play on his part yeah he gets me I go to my scissor um he's either gonna u-turn a pursuit if he u-turns that's good on him because it prevents me from defogging kind of if he has HP fire on his Sceptile, that might kill me from... Yep, that definitely kills me from here. He's gonna go Sceptile, force me on with HP fire. 
or go Gyarados and attempt to set up. I don't see what else he can do. Those are pretty much the two options he has. I'm getting more and more tired. <laughs> so I hope the narration is fine. Uh, subtitle, okay. Yeah, we're kind of just repeating the, the process here. So back into Among Us. And I will Sludge Bomb again. Like I know you have a Scissor, but... You know I have HP Fire and you're fearing that. So I know you will eventually go Gyarados or stay in. Exactly. So now... Do we have poison? No, unfortunately not. He still can't kill me. I want to HP fire here on the scissor really badly. Um, but if he stays in, that doesn't work out for me. So if he stays in, he would go for um, Dragon Pulse or HP fire. Um, yeah, I don't have a play that covers all options because I don't want to let my landlords take a hit for no reason. Uh, I kind of, yeah, I kind of want to go be landlords now that I think about it. Huh. Well, do I need Landorus healthy? I don't, I don't. Okay, so I can go Landorus here. Covers him staying in and covers him going scissor, I guess. Um, you turn on rocks, you turn on rocks. I think you turn because I don't want to let the Gyarados set up for free. He's Moxie, that's really, really scary. And that's actually fucking super scary. Holy shit. Because if I go to this and click T Bolt, then Scepter gets a boost. Right. Zeppelin has lightning rod, I'm pretty sure. So we're gonna hit in power here on a sap. Ooh, that was like kinda risky. Because it's low ladder and you never know what they're gonna do. But it was also obvious. <laughs> okay, scissor so um bullet punch, bullet punch. So he might U turn, but I think bullet punch is coming out. And this gives me a defog that I need really badly. Problem is if he goes hard Gyarados here, I'm kinda screwed. But I have to get the defog off to I don't know why he keeps making... Yeah, this guy doesn't make the optimal plays. Oh, he might have HP fire. I don't know if I scouted for that yet. But U-turn works out perfectly. He just gave away all the momentum. Um, said GG. So he's going to forfeit, I think. I'm just going to wait a bit. Uh, let me just say GG back, I guess. But he's a cool guy. Um, yeah, I can go with Tini. No cook on Volt Switch here. Well, yeah, he was already Mega Scepter, so this can't Mega. So, Bob into my boy Scissor. We go. I don't know if this was HP for our eyes, but yeah, it just wins the game. So, we're gonna get another one. Okay, we get another one versus um, my guy here. And I forgot to iron next this. Like, I usually only Ion next to people can scout my replays. And so... Okay, 13. Oh. I forgot what else I wanted to say. Okay, so Sash Cloister. This is a team that my friend T would use. Nice and offense. My, my boy Ultra Ball has all these three months in draft. Okay, but yeah, Coco was pretty much the perfect lead. Which terrain went up first? This is why I shouldn't have skipped turns, but I'm not gonna stay in because my Coco is not mixed speed. This guy said, wow, I haven't seen a team like this before. That's funny. Oh, yeah, he's uh, HP Ice. Same. I also haven't seen his team. Like the combination of months at least. Um, yeah, we just sludge bomb here. I don't know what's there to think about. We fish for poison on everything on his team that does absolutely nothing and we don't get a poison. Okay. Okay, this guy really said he was being sarcastic. Like, this team is legit not that standard. Like, Victini is not that common. I'm gonna dash this guy. It's like him. <laughs> I'm mad at him. Victini is not common at all. Uh, I mean, not that common. And also, Kelly is not common. Hello. Does this guy not know the future? Juicy um, Victini here. Like this team is fresh. It's not. It's like it's like obviously his is with super wild heat. So kind of want to bolt strike because he has a cloister, but he also shouldn't go hard into it. 
Well, let's do it anyway. Well... Nah, Kelly isn't common. This guy says Kelly is common, hello. Well, maybe in the range where he ladders, in the range where... 70, 1800 or something. Usually it's not that common. Um... Yeah, I just wanna recreate, forget it, forget it, oof, gone. Because Cloyster doesn't resist it, uh, I remember that it's neutral. So yeah. Yeah. Well... Kelly's actually not even that bad, like some people think Kelly is super bad. Because it gets rolled by Pax and Bulu, depending on the set. But if you run Specs, you can run HP Poison for Bulu, so you just need a Pax lure. Which is like I guess you need something that comes in the entire game on packs, which would be either um, Gliscor or Mega Zen. Uh, Scarf Kelio is no more. I don't know what where this guy is living. Scarf Kelio is like not common at all. Like what? I've seen Specs in SPL twice or something, and I've seen Waterin. It's not you. <laughs> like. Scarf Kelly was um, needed on some teams. Like, I completely understand why you use Scarf Kelly, but I say it's no man because it's not common. Like, don't get me wrong if you're watching, right? Okay, so Coco comes out. Yeah, basically, I'm arguing with this guy. He really is asking for my set. I'm not gonna tell you my set. Okay, why? I can't even focus because Matt keeps asking me. Specs is more. I'm not going to do this guy knows my set now because I said Scarf is not common. I mean, I don't really care. It doesn't matter. I think I have a guaranteed way of winning this. So, Raichu, unfortunately, I don't have Spore. Because hmm. I could live a Psychic. Oh, this guy has the nasty S Stoke Spark Surfer. So, I can either go Lando here or. I think Scissor would be a good play. D? Oh, this boy really went for nest. There was no play, dude. I'm harding Lando. I'm harding Lando. This guy can make risky plays. I can make risky plays. I don't care if it's a good play. Risky plays get rewarded on low ladder. Told you. Risky plays always get rewarded. Um, now we're gonna run a Kalk, right? So, Landorus, Therian. Custom set versus Raichu Alola. Yudan has a high chance to kill, so please, if he stays in, we get the roll. Yes, thank you. So, um, we can go Among Us, we can go, um, the boy really said, damn, what's 93.8 chance to kill? Mm, I don't really, I don't really want to let the, the Coco in. But if I go Among Us, you can set up this. Huh. Like, I just don't want to let my Coco take damage. Because of the. Because of the Halucha being a huge threat. But at least we get rid of the thing when. Because <laughs> this could have been a problem with the terrain up, because it gets double the speed. And it's actually pretty strong with Z move. Kinda, like after Nasty Play, especially. So he goes Coco on Among Us, which makes no sense. I, he's gonna vault into Halucha, it's my guess. So we're gonna try to fish for the poison. Uh, I could have hearted Lando because that was so predictable, but not worth it, I guess. That's, oh, yeah, okay. So I just, he just wanted to chip damage and scout my item. Uh, we don't get a poison there, which is a bit annoying. It's good to have Willowis Shadow Punch. I don't know what the fuck they run. Um, Yeah, just gonna fish for poison one more time and then switch out into either Kelio or... Oh fuck, it's this set. No, not attack like this. The AV on his own. Okay, we get a poison which is pretty icy. Um, yeah, I can go Lando, I guess. Cause, I mean, Lando kind of stops volts. She hey, does have ice punch. So I, I, so I don't know if this gets T punch. So I thought he would go for T punch, but it didn't kill you. But he just ice punch because it hits the Amos and the Lando. So you can say he get me there. He gets me there, but um, I click my water water realm now. Like basically, the reason why I say scarf kill is no one What I said earlier is. Yeah, you can burn Bulu, I guess, but you get monovolt by Pex, and Pex is like super common. So he sex is Coco. Bob, is he session? Nope. I don't get that play at all. I think the other one was like less useful than the Coco. 
I also don't know what the, what the fuck he predicted there. I guess he was just sacking it. So, uh, he doesn't even go Halucha, so... I guess he can still use Halucha later, because I can also set the terrain for him. But that play made no, made no sense to me, so I see him out. And let me see if I can hit a Hydro Pump, because we know Hydro Pump and hitting doesn't go well when I play. Uh, we hit the 90 minute mark, so I guess I might stop after this game. Yep, Hydro Pump and hitting doesn't go well in my house. Can we hit, can we hit one? <laughs> I think it was a third, only second or third missed in his life, but like I said, off screen I missed like four pumps, so there we go. Bop. That's why you need to be able to refresh your Z moves, which would be broken as fuck. But my character just doesn't want like hitting. <laughs> and yeah, you obviously want the power of pump, like there's no point in running scald. I don't know why this was the play. Um, can I hit this? Nice. Nice. If I missed that, I could have lost actually, so... But if I go hard at Halucha and he has these and he has Poison Jab, I can also lose, so I stand by staying in. Um, I just taunt this. Don't give him an out. I could have also just Secret Sorted into Bullet Punch like a normal person, but I had to do it to him. Okay, so... We're not gonna reach 1400s, but we're gonna get one. We're not gonna reach 1400s, but we're gonna get one last game. Yeah, I was PMing this guy, um, I was telling him about my YouTube, nice and shameless plug, nice and clicked it away super fast, I mean, I don't have a problem talking about it, you guys saw it, but, um, okay, so, I don't know if he's AV Metagross, so like, like, check Tabulele, Victini seems to be pretty cool in this game, besides this one stopping me from spamming Victory. <laughs> Let me sing, let me sing. Um, yeah, Scarfland is the lead here, let me not sing too long. Um, he's static, with what I immediately notice. So I'm not gonna U-turn and risk getting paralyzed. So, um, my HP is here, right? Coco is my play. Pretty much takes everything from this. And gets a free T-Bolt. I could even HP ice. Trying to catch his chomper, but he shouldn't go there, in my opinion. He might actually try to go chomper, just based off low ladder. Um, because mana grows. Now we know if it's AV or not. So it's 38. So if it's Bandit, um, I don't want to take a bullet punch of his Bandit. So I want to cult that. <clears throat> so double Coco custom set. Uh, t bolt does 61 to 72, so it's definitely AV. Is it? Oh, it's Lava Zapdos was live, but I just realized that. So we vault out here into... Damn, Koko so strong. Like, it's not even that strong, but terrain just boosting it. Is that AV? I mean, I didn't call it. Maybe it's just max HP. I only called was no bulk. So we go Scizor here and we get our U-turn. Um, I would prefer to not let the uh, Shandaloo in for free, so U-turn is the play. He can stay in, yes, and to chip me more, but that's okay. You can also go Zapdos and try to para me. If this is Flame Body, that would be annoying, but I assume it's Flash Fire. Uh, Flash Fire is the preferred ability, usually. Um, so I can go Kelio here and Calm Mind. But if he Scarf Energy Ball, that the letter likes to run that set. Um, I think my good play is going land where we see his lefties and I can um, get up my rocks. The reason I'm making this play is because I don't want to U-turn on a Zapdos and I also don't want to have the Rotom come in for free. Yep, this might have defog, yes, but I just didn't want to waste my turn and give the momentum away completely by um, off quaking into Zapdos or Rotom or U-turning into a para. Now just Giga Drain so he cannot defog for free. If he switches out, that's fine. Rocks stay up. If Chandler wants to come in, it gets punished by rocks. So completely fine with me. Completely fine with me. Um, might be sub CM. So kind of want a stomping tantrum predicting uh, sub here. But that might not be worth it. Uh, Landra's health is like good for Garchomp, but it's also not needed for anything. Your PS sub as I figured. So I could have tantrum that it flex on him. <laughs> 
but it's completely fine. Like I know Among Us lives with flamethrowers, so I could have done that, yeah. Uh, don't burn me, dude. Oh my! How did I predict that though? So since he burnt me, I don't want to switch anymore because he might stay in now. Because he could even live this if he's like HP invested or if I get a lower. Yeah, he just take advantage of that. If I wouldn't have gotten burned, I would have switched predicting either Zapdos or Rotom to come out. But yeah, that burn kind of made me not switch. So he could defog here, which would be really fucking annoying, but he doesn't. So we're gonna get Adrian again, and the next time he goes into Shandalo, we're just gonna start Tantrum and kill that boy. He might go Metagross, which... Yeah, I can definitely see him going Metagross. Zapdos, okay. So, so I assume Zapdos is gonna go for a Roost or Heat Wave. Um... I think Coco is my play. Or is it Victini? I think it's Coco. Uh, Heat Wave is gonna hurt though if he has that. Doing 56, good lord! Calm down, dude. So, I wanna roost here, because it covers the switch in the guard charm. No, 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 it's not the play, it's not the play. That's T-Bolt, that's T-Bolt. Yeah, that's why I wanted to roost. But, in case he roosted on his own, I don't, didn't want that. So, this guard charm, it's most likely Chai Scarf, because this was leftovers. Um, so, could be Scarf Rock. This is only Rocker, which is weird. Basically, I'm expecting either a Scarf Earthquake or Scarf Rocks to come out. I think Among Us the Scout, or Lando the Scout. So your Lando as he goes Metagross, don't really understand his play. He might go for Bullet Punch. So I think Scissor is my play. Ice Punch, yep. Um, there wasn't Bullet Punch, but that worked. And yeah, we don't kill him for some reason. Scissor is ass. We go Among Us and Earthquake. Back to Scizor. Roost, he dies to Rock, so there's no point for him in switching out. He can obviously switch and save it as fodder, but yeah, Roosting is my play. And now I just U turn. I know it's up to the instead of me, but it's low. Figured he wouldn't go to hit. Um, I can go into my Coco, I guess. Kind of just keep out Zapdos and Chandelure and force him to go on a guard jump or low punny. Yeah, that works out fine. And yeah, this is going slower than I expected. So, like I said, gonna end after this video. I <laughs> said I wanna do 90 minute max, but we have already reached the 100 minute mark soon at least. Uh, man, like if I'm gonna rewatch this, I'm probably gonna sound like a dead zombie like, to myself. I'm gonna ex. Like I'm gonna um. I don't know how to say it in English. <laughs> My vocabulary is uh, not working. Um, I can save my Lando here. Could also go hard and scissor, but if he has power punch, um, I would rather get the intimidate off. So um, I can wall him easier. Now, I can go scissor and Newton here. I can go Kaldeo and Secret Sword. So Kaldeo and Secret Sword gets me one. Like, one of my problems I have, um, I think overall I played fine this video besides like two game, like the two Zard games. But yeah, what was I gonna say? Wait, well, he's gonna vault. I should've just secret sorted again. Um, I thought he would paint split for, for a second, so I see him again. But now he can vault in the low punny and figure out into return is gonna kill me, or high jump kick is gonna kill me. So that was not the play, but I can just go back to scissor here. And this is as bulky, and I'm just gonna bullet punch in case he has encore. I'm not gonna roost. If he has power punch, encore, I would just get. I just want to get damage. And he doesn't really have a switch in. I guess Rotom could come in and pain split, but if Rotom comes out, I can go to my Keldeo. So the pain split doesn't heal that much. Nice. Uh, so Garchomp probably is always a working element. Probably has a fire move. So hard Keldeo here on either rocks or fire blast, earthquakes, which makes no sense to me. And yeah, we all know my luck with Hydro Pump, so I'm just gonna click the Z move, pick off the Guard Chomp, and oof. basically what I was trying to say like a minute ago. Some games I just want to get a kill with a Mon ASAP instead of thinking long term. So that's something I have to learn. Um, thinking through the entire game, what happens if this Mon takes chip, etc. Some games I do that really, really well, but other games I just. And I don't know why. 
and how to improve it at the moment, huh? I guess it has to do also with how much I'm focused, and obviously when I'm tired, no, I'm not that focused. But yeah, low pony, do I need to kill you at all? It still outspeeds this and this. So it outspeeds everything besides this. So yeah, we do sack. Um. I don't sack anything. We go to this boy. That is too much. Rotom could be a problem, so I'm not gonna sack this. <laughs> when you go to this one, but then you switch when you have the entire team tech chip. Nice classic docker play. But it doesn't matter, because uh, you bullet punch here. Mm. And you click bolt right now. Mm -hmm. Getting rid of the Chandelure, he predicted my v crate there, obviously trying to get the Flash Fire boost. Zapdos is uh, tying, speed tying with me at best. Shouldn't risk it though, oh, never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say, what if he's faster, uh, if he wins the tie? And then he like hits me with a T-Bolt and then I'm in low punny range. Could've been a potential choke. But I figured, um, if I switch any roost, it's also annoying. He's just sacking his entire team to this, nice. Big Victini um, is like, ah, let me get in the thumbnail. So, um, good power punch. Um, pretty sure he can't kill me with fake out into frustration. And if I switch any power punches, like it's the same, he still has to crit me anyway, no matter what I do. So, I don't think it matters what I do, yeah. So, thank you guys for watching. Um, we are only at 1382, which is kind of disappointing. But yeah, 15 and 0. Uh, two games that I should not have won where I lucked out. Ah, coming through. Team is in the description if you want to try it out yourself. Uh, big props to you if you watched the entire thing because it was main, like a slow ladder, right? But yeah, we're getting into the 1400 range in the next video. Um, actually, next video is gonna be going into 1500s as well. Mm -hmm. Like mid 1500s or 1520 at least. So we're gonna end off the next episode. And anyway, we're gonna try to at least like usually i try to at least go 20 0 and sometimes if i don't do that i make just make a new alt but then uh, if i wouldn't if i lose after 20 0 i'm just like yeah okay if i make a new alt again there's no point i'm never gonna climb so let's just stick with this alt but yeah i thank you guys for watching stay tuned for more road to top 10 and tour coverage small and tour coverage um small and tour playoffs what else? When when the smoke is over, the nine weeks. What else? What else? Still some SPL games. Some are pre-recorded. Some I still have to narrate. Uh, that's the main content. All you Premier League is right after smoke and Premier League. So let me know if you guys want to see that. I might do highlight matches of that. Um, my main BTB is gonna manage in that potentially. I don't know if I was allowed to say that. I think I was. But yeah, that's it. Have a fantastic day, and I'm out. Bob. And you use this team yourself, it's fun as fuck. Good lord, I'm out. Bye. <laughs>